Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. I don't know what to do. The old crow is watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm watching Bill Crow. Christopher Lentz has appeared. Peter. Peter Keep News. Hey, Peter. Hello, oh, Jackie. I think it's Jay. I don't think I've taken on my French name yet, the Jackie. Michelle Benson, Evelyn Champion. Hello, Michelle. How are you? I have the feeling this is the demise of the first responder applause. And I don't know quite what to do. I like coming down here at night. Seven o'clock, my, my, my life takes on a, a strong sense of order. Have to be down town, downstairs at 6:56. The applause starts at 7 o'clock. What am I going to do when the applause is no longer there? Because it's almost gone now. Elmer, Elmer Hames, Hames. Well, I found a really great song in the uh, in my old fake book today. I mean, it's a winner. One that you won't hear anywhere else, and I'm not telling you what it is till I get upstairs. I'll just tell you this, it's a very romantic French song. Uh, I hope uh, Francois will be there. Hello, Al. Hello, Bill. Bill and Priscilla. Tonight, I sing a semi-French song that I found in Bill in one of our old... Uh, my brother Bill is watching under the Priscilla Quinby umbrella. And remember all the fake books? Well, I've got them. I've got all those fake books that we had in the uh, music room in, in the 50s. And I've been... Uh, I've been uh, going through them because I have about 75 songs of my own ready to go. Hello, Patricia. How are you? Good. Now, now it's, I think I've said this 75 times already, but there's about going to be many, many miles of streets that are going to be off limits to cars, to through traffic in New York, all over the place. And that is such a grand idea. Everybody loves it. People walk around, you get the feeling of spaciousness. And... Hello, John Weber. Wherever you are. Hey, Neil, did you get my... Uh... Did you get my blues, Neil? I worked minutes on that blues. Positively exhausting minutes. It's a great idea. Hello, Francois. I'm going to be singing a, a French song, a semi-French song for you, Francois. So close your ears. There's only one French word in it, but I came across it in my fake book. I hear some kind of chatter going on.
There you go. Well, I got the clap of seven. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Well, that's a nice exercise for those of us who are seven challenged. Except I did try to write out uh, uh, if putting on the Ritz in seven four because I didn't think it was hard enough for four. But I can't do it. Hello, Bosey. Hi, nice rhythm. You know. No, it was, I was going one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, Bo. That was seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I was trying to go wah, bah, 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 one and two and one, two, three. Yeah, I, it was, it's sneaky. It's your anniversary today. Oh, fantastic. My brother Bill and his wife Priscilla are celebrating their anniversary today, and I didn't even know it. Well, that's the time. That's wonderful. That's terrific. And I don't want to ask you which one it is, but uh, Bernie Feinberg is watching. Hello, Bernie. Hi, Phyllis. What are we having for dinner tonight, Bernie? Ned White is watching down from Florida. Ned, where are you exactly in Florida, anyway? Walla Walla, Washington. Walla Walla, Washington. 12 bars of 7 8. Walla Walla, Walla Washington. Walla Walla, Washington. Thank you. Walla Walla, Washington. 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 Okay, I'm going upstairs. I'm going to think about it. There's such a lovely breeze, I hate to leave though. The breeze is really beautiful today. Oh. I'm, I, gotta, I gotta start doing it. I love doing it outside. I'm going to hope this weekend. I'm gonna find all the local. Hey, listen, I have a, I have a what do you call it, a wind, wind thing on this microphone. Does it, does it help? Because the wind's blowing. Seriously, I have to breathe. 24! 24 years! Fantastic! Fantastic! Walla Walla, Washington. I'm going upstairs. 
no reason for me to be down here. Barbara and Jeff, they, they just introduced themselves, my friends, Barbara, Jeff, Barbara, Jeff, how am I going to remember this? <clears throat> Barbara and Jeff, Barbara and Jeff, Barbara and Jeff, seems very simple, doesn't it? But not when you're me. Barbara and Jeff, Barbara and Jeff, I've gotten anything out of this. Barbara and Jeff. The name's Barbara and Jeff. Thank God. I could have told you that Barbara and Jeff. I know it well. Barbara and Jeff. Barbara and Jeff. I'll forget. It's too, they're too easy. I mean, they're dancers. I expect them to like have Russian names and things like that. What are you going to do? I know we're all holding my breath for my French song. I do look like, uh, huh. what's his name? Howard Stone? Is that his name? I think. Sammy Stone? What's Brian Stone? What is his name? Steve Stone? Trump's, uh, Trump's right-hand guy. Howard Stone. I guess it's Howard. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Oh, I was going to give it away. And now I've practiced this song for at least, at least nine minutes. You're going to be just so impressed when you, when you hear me sing my song. Anti-liquid dial, antibacterial, how much bacteria, how much do they have? Active ingredients. Mm. Who knows? Just if anything, it's got me shaming me to washing my hands every night at 7 o'clock, and that's probably kept me alive. Just the washing of my hands at 7 o'clock. Turn off the light. Where's the room off tonight? I can't do this without Doug Romoff. Let me go turn the air conditioner off. It's nice and chilly in here now, cold enough that my phone will not overheat with because the cute little microphone on the bottom uses up a lot of electricity. Uh, a lot of the battery. And it gets hot. The phone gets hot. Straighten it off. Ta ta! First of all, look at the pretty picture I found on my Facebook tonight. And it's an old fake book. And she, no, no, she, she couldn't have been in that one. It was, she must have come from someplace else. No, this came from um, one of those real books. Sassy. I had a chance with her to work with her a couple, a couple times, thanks to Grady. And we had a lovely time, and she was a sweetheart. Very sweet person. Lovely lady. 
Fred Flintstone. What about the rest of these? Francis, Jameen Lee. I've never set foot in flight. You never set. <laughs> I see. What about the rest of you? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You guys are joking behind my back. You're making jokes. I'm not even seeing them. Yeah. Okay, Ned, where are you? Well, then where do you live, Ned? Are you like next door? You don't have to tell me where you live. Where's he live? Ned? Ned? Where do you live? We live in New York. I live on the piano. Or Goofy here does his show. Sorry. Roger Stone. Roger Stone, not Howard Stone. Roger Stone. Oh, God. Fred Flintstone. I see. Sassy. Samuel. Roger Stone, that bastard. Samuel Martin. Hey, Mart. Sam, how are you? Maybe we can get to play again sometime. Ted Rosenthal. Ted, you should be practicing. You should be filming right now. Everyone, you must go to Ted Rosenthal's site and see the music he puts up there. I mean, that's really music. He's putting good stuff up there. Goldie Award. Ned White. Charlie Parker Town. Kansas City. Bob Stewart. Jay's famous award, yes. Yes, I got it. I, I, Roger Genstel. Ted was a hi, Ted. I hope you're well. I got a funny picture from Bill Charlotte today of Dick Hyman's face smiling on a bottle of, he's the label on a bottle of hot sauce. And it's very funny. I'll send it to you after the show. I'll forward it to you. I, I don't, can't imagine how that came to be. <clears throat> but nonetheless, enough talk. We settled into place. It's impossible to sing and play the bass. You're a lovely group of people. You deserve the gag to see. What you can expect of me. I will tell you as we settled into place. It's impossible to sing and play the bass. You see, the bass is fretless. It's not like a guitar. A bass you swing your poor life wondering where the hell you are. It's got no little markers, just a finger point so bare and lots of notes that are not there. Lines and chords. Chord is no less a miracle than Lord's. So as I make the thousand errors, sit there and be kind. Do not throw tomatoes at me. Keep this all in mind. Remember, remember this is serious. Remember this is art. Remember this is how I fall apart. Seed. And I'd 
she knew it was a certain life. I might want to read. She may have known some molecules out of time and space. And she knows it's impossible. She knows it's impossible. She knows it's impossible. To sing and play the bass. Easy, hard, uh, impossible. Oh, look at that. It's more in tune than I've ever played it in my life. Just grabbed it and out it came. So you're wondering, certainly, what song I was talking about. I found in my old fake book, and it just, I practiced it, and it's just so pretty. I think I've got to put some more angle on this camera. My little iPhone. I think I'll turn a little light off here, because it's shining too brightly. But I need more light than that, so I'll put it in there. A small cafe, mamzelle, a rendezvous, mamzelle. The violins were warm and sweet, and so were you, mamzelle. And as the nights danced by, a kiss became a sigh. Your lovely eyes seem to sparkle just like wine does. My heart ever, no heart ever yearned the way that mine does. For you, ba ba boo boo ba boo ba boo. And yet I know too well, someday you'll uh, say goodbye. Then violins will cry, and so will I, Mamselle. A small cafe, Mamselle. A rendezvous, Mamselle. The violins were warm and sweet, and so were you, Mamselle. And as the nights passed, Your lovely eyes seem to sparkle just like when wine does. No heart ever yearned the way that mine does. For you, ba ba bo ba ba bo ba. For you, for her you, for her you, for her for you, for her oh And yet I know too well. Some. And so will I, Mamselle. I know, I know, no, 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 don't throw, don't throw things, good things, of course. A small cafe, Mamselle. Sweet and so were you. Oh boy, whoever wrote that, E. Goulding, the race.
razor's edge. He's twisting in his grave right now. What was that? What happened to my song? Sorry, E, whoever you were, I, I couldn't help it. I had I found another song I really liked today. I don't know, so I just, I just, because I'm so, I really have 75 of my own songs and I'm not writing, I'm not working hard enough on writing new ones. I've got a bunch of new ones in the thing, but, you know. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away The other night as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you by my side. But when I woke, dear, I was mistaken, and I hung my head and I cried. My sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine. sunshine away take my sunshine away take my sunshine away you are my sunshine that song's got potential that song could that song could be a hit oh wait a minute no, I did it already. Good. I thought I forgot to do my theme song. But I did it. You are my sunshine. You make me happy when I am gray, when I am gold. You are... Uh, I never known, dear, how much I...
Oh, I never know. He's got to read the words. I never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my trophy away. Never. Never. Wow, swinging. Arrangements while you wait. <laughs> and sometimes you really have to wait, too. Hello, Tomoko. How are you tonight, Tomoko? Good. Everybody know Tomoko? Stephen G. Goldberg knows him. Helmer, Hel Helmer, do you know Tomoko Ono? I wonder if you do. Swinging. Swangin'. You got it. Bill misses playing with you on songs like Sunshine. The groove you guys would get. Priscilla, you're so right. I was thinking of Bill as I was playing it. I was thinking how much we could just take that song and run it. You make me happy too. Oh, good. Très bon. <laughs> You'll note that Francois has not responded. Francois, who is somewhat French, a little bit, he did not respond. He did not say très bon. He did not say magnifique. So I'll have to sing more French songs for him. But, but Mademoiselle, I mean, that's, that's a funny song. It's a funny song. I showed you this. Showed you the Bible. Bill will remember this because he, he and I used to. It's gotten a little worn out. Hundred thousand show, hundred thousand show talk. But it's. I swear, it's like going through the Bible. The Torah. In a monastery garden, through. Misty, mm -hmm. intermezzo, in the moon mist. I'm, I, I'm always chasing rainbows, watching clouds drifting by. Oh, oh. 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 If you are not ahead of him. Glowworm. Glow, little glowworm, glimmer, glimmer. Go, little glim, 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 lead us last too far. What's that? Lead us lest too far we wander. Love's sweet voice is calling yonder. Just remember that. Lead us lest, lead us lest too far we wander. I think that's, I think that's the sermon for the night. Lead us lest too far we wander. Something to think about. Have you wandered too far? Where are you? Do you know where you are now? Have you found yourself? <laughs> Lead us. Oh, what did we say? Oh, glowworm. Almost on the bottom page. Here. Lead us lest we too far we wander. Love's sweet voice is calling yonder. Can you hear it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I'm starting to think I'm going to do a best of. And there's got to be something good in all these 291 hours of time we've spent together. Unfortunately, your your comments don't can't appear on the video. So once I play it back, it's just the video. The comments are gone. And I don't know how to get them. But um, one of these days I'm going to sit down and uh, when we have nothing to do, like maybe a pandemic would strike and I wouldn't have anything to do. I wouldn't go to work. God forbid such a thought. And uh, just put, put together the best of the songs, the worst of the songs. Oh. Mm, not that I am. Uh, fair dear oh gee not that I am fair dear not that I am blue oh boy I'm not going to worry about that one <coughs> Miser told me so bittersweet Z -Z 
singing her. Play me under the summer moon to the cigar. Oh, yes, yes, oh, yes. Ah, sweet mystery of life. I, I won't, I won't bother you with that. I'm putting the book down. Look, no hands. The book's not in my hands now. It's under the desk. I won't, but it's great fun. And like I say, Barbara Carroll, we could go through that book and say, oh yeah, well, when I was with the author, we, we talked about it, and then she she would sing the, the lyrics. She'd never forget. She knew the lyrics to everything. If it had ever played, she knew the lyrics to it. She had to play it, perform it. She'd never sung it, but she knew the lyrics. Me, I know the melody to it. I didn't even know there were words to songs till I was about 35. I didn't know what people were doing when they got up there. What were they talking about? Anyway, so I, I, I caught on late to songs. No, I guess the kids were born. When I was about 33, I started writing songs about them. I said, wait a minute. I, people made up those words. They, they didn't just come with the forest and the trees and the rivers. Those songs did not have words to them. Somebody actually made them up. Um, I should turn down the sound on my computer. Let me, excuse me. Don't ring anymore. You're not allowed to ring. George Stella. Somebody wants me to work with him. He, I'm sure he wants me to work for him. He's got a gig for me. And if you think I'm going into COVID land to work with George, George, I'm sorry, unless it's uh, unless you have some some real crazy good plans. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing it. That statue was taking on a life of its own. It may want its own show. Never. It wouldn't happen. It might want a show. It might want its own show. It might want its own show. Oh, George, you're tuned in. You can see me. I, I, I listen. I'm not going anywhere where we can all get, uh, you know, we can all die from it. That's like, not, that's, unless it really pays a lot. Wait a minute. That's not a good idea either. That statue has taken on a life of its own. What are you taking? Taking on. Taking on a life of my own. I just have to live in this guy's r music room. S excuse me. Okay. I have to live in his music room. <sighs> With the basses. Basses. Boom, boom, boom. Sing something, George Stella. I, well, I'm now getting, <laughs> not getting text messages. Sing something and shut the hell up. You know, certain people just have a way with words. Fine. Oh, if I wish I, I wish I knew Sweet Lorraine, I'd sing it, but I don't know the word. Sweet Lorraine, just found joy. I'm as happy as a baby boy. Something about who found a choo-choo train. When I find, when I, something my Sweet Lorraine. Okay, that's next. That's for tomorrow. I'll get it. That's, a, that's too good a song, and I love it. And I can do that. Anybody can do that song. Anybody. But let's, let's get back to something that's simply uh, harder. That's the crap I write. Hard. This song came about because I had read the book Tulip Mania. And I enjoyed it so. The Dutch uh, were, uh, had, in 1620, they, they had a, a tulip bulb bubble where the prices started rising and rising and rising for no good reason other than they were rising. And people just got caught up in it and started buying and selling, and then one day it collapsed. And uh, I sat down, and in those days I was very ambitious. I'm still ambitious, but I don't, I haven't been writing too many songs. And I wrote the following piece about it. In the 
twenties back in Holland, every Dutchman sang a song. The Dutch had all the money, all the milk, and all the honey. They simply could not do no wrong. That is, until they fell in love with tulips, especially the more exotic breeds. From Amsterdam to Yonkers, the Dutch went totally bonkers, lusting for those tulip bulbs and seeds. It was not surprising the tulip prices started rising. They were in such demand. Soon a little tulip bulb was worth its weight in gold. Things were getting out of hand. The average Dutchman sensed a golden opportunity, a situation he could not ignore. You buy a tulip on a Monday morning, do do da ba 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 ba. Next day you sell it for much more, much more. Very quickly, tulip speculation markets did appear where people bought and sold with great abandon. People would do anything to. Get a little cash, anything to get a hand in. Do, 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 de, do, do. Soon the Dutch economy was all tied up in tulips. Prices soared into the sky. People mortgage bought and sold. They begged, they borrowed, like a jewel. They would do anything, anything to buy. Anything, anything to buy. dreary winter morning, morning, the person rang the tulip market bell. Suddenly nobody wanted tulips anymore. Just like that the market went to hell. Collapse succumbed, it disappeared, disintegrated, vanished. It was adios, avida, saying goodbye. Suddenly nobody wanted tulips anymore. Present owners of the tulips sat there quite dumbfounded. Gee, what do I do now? I owe a lot of money for this box of dirty tulip bulbs, and the only thing I own is half a cow. The present owners owed the previous owners who owed the previous owners. Liens and loans and IOUs prevailed. Now nobody had the cash to pay back what he owed. Because the tulip market had completely failed, had completely failed. So everybody started suing everybody else. What else was there to do? Everybody started dragging everybody else to court, and those who escaped the wrath were few. In Holland, finally decided tulip debts were null and void, and nothing was collectible. And that was the solution they provided. Folks, it's over, finished, done. Let's all just go back to square one. That's the deal. The song has now been sung. I don't care who owes you what. Just go back to your little hut. Maybe clean some fish or scrape some dung. Disappointed, things had turned out much worse than they feared. While everybody chased around looking for dirty little tulip bulbs, the Dutch economy totally disappeared. Is there a moral to our story? A happy ending to our tale of woe? Have we maybe learned a lesson? I really don't think so. 
investment bubbles come and go. But greed intoxicates us so. I really must say, I don't think so. Pickety third after that one. It was too sad. Too sad a song. But here's a song that ends with a Pickety third. This is a true story. A lot of true stories. True stories are what really fired me up the most. Parking lot, I take my base out of the car and oh so gently lay it on the ground. I wait for the attendant in the meanwhile pet the friendly German shepherd that is sniffing all around. The parking lot attendant calls out, I go over to him, but I see a funny look upon his face. He's trying to be nonchalant as behind my back his friendly German shepherd's peeing on my base. I turn around, I see the hound, I'm simply flabbergasted. This is a disgrace. Unless, of course, it is a message from the gods of cosmic commentary on the way I play the bass. But then I realize, of course, this is no accident. This is a message, it's a sign. The strange event was only meant to indicate that happiness and good luck and good fortune would be mine. The gods have sought for years and years to find the perfect person, and now the search is done. And this divinely inspired German shepherd has sniffed around and sniffed around till finally he has found the chosen one. I really do believe it. It helps me feel much better. It helps to lessen my dismay. But the simple fact is that a German shepherd peed upon my But the simple fact is that a German shepherd peed upon my But the simple fact is that a German shepherd peed upon my base. This must be my lucky day. Major. Everything's got to be lowered. Everything's got to be lowered. Oh, Lord. Excuse me, I'm going to go through my book and see what's next. Oh, oh, I got it. I have to learn this for tomorrow. I, there's a song I must learn for tomorrow because I love it so much that I have to really learn it. It's written by the Gershwins and it deals with the bass. I think anybody with, who knows anything about that knows what I'm thinking. Here's one I, here's one I don't do. I like, I love this song. Every who doesn't love this song? I've only played this song 950,000 times in my life. And uh, it's, uh, it's satisfying every time. Thank you. 
to those rails of thrumming. son, the inevitable Vaughn, the wonderful Vaughn, lives on Sugar Hill in Harlem. And I didn't, it, I mean, it, I hate to say it, but it just occurred to me. That's why I like the song so much. I mean, I liked it all my life, but now I really, it really it means something to me. It means a little bit more to me than just, you know, because I've spent a lot of time up there in my, in the past 11 years. I've gotten to know Harlem very well and uh, appreciate it. For what a great place it is, and why all this white folk are so afraid of going to Harlem. Oh, so afraid of Harlem. It's a fabulous place. It's just, uh, and, uh, you know, believe me, you'll survive very nicely in Harlem. At least I found myself in that position. I was quite, you know, I didn't, I didn't went to Harlem. All of a sudden, my daughter married Wayne, and they lived up there on 153rd in St. Nicholas Place. And I found myself going up quite often, especially after Vaughn was born. Boom. I was there all the time. I used to take him long walks everywhere. Still do. He's, you know, he's a big boy. He'll be 12, 12 next week, July 13th. Vaughn is, is, will be 12 years old. My other grandson was just 11. Milo's in the, Milo's 11, he lives, he, He's living with the Hobsbawms, my, my son Michael's son. My son Michael's son, right. They're living in Leonia, New Jersey for the rest, remainder of the pandemic. Nobody knows where the hell they're going. And uh, Vaughn is exactly almost one year older. He's uh, 359 days older. He's July 8th. Wait a minute. Wait. Vaughn is July 8th and Milo is July 13th. And uh, send all the uh, gifts to me. To send the cash. I, I, trust me, I'll give it to them. I'll give it to them. You got such a nice tone. Oh, and my bass sense doesn't sound bad either, does it? That's not what you meant? Oh, okay, fine. I won't get on any train now. No, I, I really won't either. I haven't been on one. I, People tell me the trains, the New York trains are very clean now, very clean. But, yeah, uh, but after they've been ridden on for a little while, a lot of people have been touching everything, and, and it's an enclosed space. I don't know, I don't know. Babinsko is watching. All right, folks. It's that time of night. It's just that time. There's just no getting around it. I need from this lovely audience 10 words, just 10 words, and I will create a song that you will never forget. So, so clean, you can eat off the floors. Well, yeah, I know. I need 10 words in order to create a new song. The first one is Haystack. Well, Haystack. Haystack, and that comes from Stephen Gower, well, Steve, I'm gonna gonna take two. I'm gonna just take one. Chris Lentz, twisted, twisted. <laughs> profligate, profligate. Let me go back. Stephen, you're giving me too many words. I'm going to pass up your words. I'm going to, down to Albert Kurtzen with Fanego. 
the, the fabulous Finagle. Finagle. No problem. Bill Crow. Hopper. 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 A very Crowian word. Bernie Feinberg. Tonight. Tonight. Nah, I don't remember. That's been somewhere in his song. Tonight. It's in your fingers, man. Tabasco. Tabasco. T-A-B-A. T-A-B-A-S-C-O. Uh, <laughs> wolf tone. A wolf tone. The bass players know what a wolf tone is. A wolf tone is when you bow a bass on your instrument and it doesn't the, the instrument doesn't quite want to give that note back to you. So you've got to have lots of courage. Oh, C-O-U-R-A-G. It's not courage. It's C-O-U. You know, there's something so un difficult about just courage. Squelch. Squelch. Very nice. Wolf tones. R R Rachel Caswell's. I've got one. I've got haystack. I, that, I think the, 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 the numbers have stopped coming in since. Haystack twisted. Profligate. Finagle. Hopper. Tonight. Tabasco. Wolf tone. Courage. And squelch. No problem. Okay. Take special courage to go to the base and worry about a wolf tone. tone. Finding the answer to a wolf tone is like finding a needle in a haystack. You've got to finagle your way in some very twisted manner in order to have, find the courage to overcome a wolf tone. Wolf tones are the scourge. You need so much courage. You've got to be like Rachel Welch. Have the courage to squelch a wolf tongue. <laughs> like Watergate. And Buttergate. You've got to be profligate. Doesn't make any sense. But to find that wolf tone in a haystack, haystack, the haystack becomes kind of a gray stack. When I think about the pains of it all, I get kind of twisted, I get kind of misted.
itchy finger, itchy palm, excuse me for a second. If you're able to finagle away, you'll be a member of the J-Pack Haystack. And you'll find the courage to overcome a wolf tone. This bass doesn't have any wolf tones. At least not the way, not, not in the area I play it. Every note comes ringing through, as the, the De Vivier bass did. Um, the De Vivier did not have a strong A. It didn't have a powerful A. That's the only thing, the only thing I, I didn't, I missed with that. As soon as you got your open, as soon as you put your hands on it, it got very even and strong, but the A was a little, didn't, something in the vibrations of that A fought the instrument. That's a very fascinating thing. I should, I should write a song about the little I know about vibrations and how the hell you make an instrument that can handle every possible vibration in a sweet and loving way. Because some instruments just take a vibe. That's what a wolf is. I'm a wolf tone, I believe. Barry, you'll correct me if I'm wrong. It's uh, it's um, it's when the instrument just doesn't connect properly with a certain vibration, and it 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 won't it won't let the vibration happen. It fights it, and uh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Anyway. That's a wonderful group of words. Haystack, twisted, profligate, finagle, hopper, tonight, Tabasco, wolf tone. Tabasco, wolf tone. No, that wolf tone courage. I always try to find a twisted profligate. There's a good group, the twisted profligate. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, the clock on the wall tells me it's 8 o'clock already. Ding ding ding, ding 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 tick 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 tick. Oh, I've had a great time tonight. I'm glad you did. I did. I'm so happy. I'm, I'm good for you. And uh, let me see. Anybody here not know what these awards are? I mean, really, it's very important. This is the statue I got for being the most extraordinarily wonderful musician alive. Well, all right, not not that. I was Mac winner, a jazz instrumentalist singer, in 1997 with this one, and this one in 1992. And uh, every time I put the the uh, don't I don't know what they call them, the, st the statue. No, 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 no. I was I wasn't talking about you. I I well, but you you know every time I put you in your case or something. You tend to lose this one. I've had to pick it up off the fields in Long Valley, where the Horizon Horizon Tower is. I'm going to be out there this weekend. Can't wait. Can't wait to get out there in the field and see what happens. Tomoko is threatening to join me in that field with her electric piano. And I hope she will do that. You eat dinner with the award? I eat later. I know I've got no problem. This is that's okay. Why too hot? Oh, there's Vaughn now. Did you hear his little voice? Um, <laughs> it's too hot. 
Let me see. Where am I going? Where am I going? He's reading the notes. He's reading what you guys have written now. Let me see. Uh-huh. Do you eat dinner with the award? No, I don't. You eat first, and then I eat what's left. You know how that works. Yes, I do. Good night to all of you. I'm going to try to develop a new attitude, maybe more friendly, because I'm getting very obstinate right now. I've taken on a totally contrary personality. I'm going to try to work on it. Excuse me. There he goes. That's good. I at least had a little had a moment of sanity from him. He's a little little introspection would wouldn't hurt. You know, it's just You say that you're leaving. Going away, you're not make believe. You mean what you say? I guess I should be grieving. I'm begging you to stay, but seeing is believing. Today's the day, 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 day. But baby, you might change. like the good times just start there you used to love to hold me but now you don't care I guess I should be grieving I'm begging you to stay I don't think that's the line but oh yes I'm but seeing is believing hmm. today is the day fun little trip. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for keeping me uh, playing the bass. Thanks for uh, all your wonderful comments. It's great to see everybody. Hey, HSU. Sue. Hey, Sue. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Jay. Another brilliant show. Thank you, John Weber. You're very kind to me, and I'll take it. Because this... You know... There's still a pandemic going on, and that's the bummer. Look what it does like. If I raise my hand like this, the light goes down. Why is that? I guess it absorbs some light. Um, oh, that's what it is. The light gets on my hand, and I'm in the dark. Oh, I see. Anyway, there's still a pandemic going on, and uh, uh, it's a mess. The poor people out west are uh, suffering from this, as we did. But they're not as well prepared. I mean, you got to give... Uh, 
Andrew Cuomo and everybody around here uh, credit. They, they made sure there's enough beds. It was very difficult here. And hopefully we won't open up too quickly, everyone. Find a way not to do it. If I were president, um, it would be a lot different. There'd be guaranteed money for a year. And um, we stay home and get this thing correct. We'd, we'd, we'd find a way around it quickly. Uh, but that's, uh, but I'm not president. They, I, I just, I lost. Good night, everybody. See you later. Thanks for hanging around.